can go to the church so but it doesn't matter if you go to the church so do you believe like in certain things like for example do you believe in the in the in the creator you believe there is god you know you believe both of you you believe there is god yeah okay. i think there is something among us humans and that's the common thing between the religions and let's ask, let, let us give us yeah. we, uh, we should all believe in god it doesn't matter how you call him and yeah. do the things we think they are human yeah. humanity is the most important thing to me okay you know let's this world came into existence by by uh, there is like a cause and effect. This world, this you know, there is a cause behind it, and this let's say this cause or for example this universe came into existence by the creator of this of this universe. Now, this creator has to have certain characteristics. Yeah, the first characteristic is all powerful. Should be very powerful to create this universe, correct? And has to be very knowledgeable be all-knowing, to know everything. And that's another characteristic. Thirdly, he has to have an independent will. So he has a will, independent from anything else, meaning no one tells this creator to do what he should do, what he shouldn't do, that he has to do whatever he wants to do. Yeah? Yeah, that's common. That's a common thing. So this is the God. This is the definition of God. Yeah. Now the question is, since you came from Christian background, now, because we sometimes have kind of a discussion with Christians, so we say, so we believe in Jesus to be a God, yeah, or son of God, correct? Yeah, which is difficult to believe. <laughs> That's good. That's a good point. Because Jesus doesn't fulfill these characteristics. But the, the words Jesus said, and that they are in the Bible, that's something important for uh, our, li our, our lives as humans. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you see, you see, you see, you see this, is the, this is the point is, we need to kind of get, get it to the fundamentals. When we believe, when we say we believe Jesus is God, that means we say, is Jesus all powerful? Then we tend to Jesus is not all powerful, he was weak, he was tend to God. It's Jesus all knowing. So it tends to be Jesus doesn't know certain things, even doesn't know people who came to take him. He doesn't know until the last moment. And even he was saying he doesn't know about the hour. You know, it's very difficult for me to discuss Trinity because. You don't believe I, in it? I can't believe that. But, okay, good. Um, if I'm a Christian, I have to. And so I stop discussions at this point. Good. <laughs> so, so that's why, why don't you. We Muslims, we believe in Jesus, but we don't believe in Jesus to be a God. Yeah, he is a prophet. We believe he is a prophet of God, and that befits him. We believe in his miraculous birth. He was born with no father, no problem. With, and Adam was born with no father and mother. So we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. But we give him the, the status that befits him, which he is a prophet and messenger of God. And that you will find him that goes consistent with the Old Testament and the New Testament, if it goes that, the, you know, the God is all powerful, all knowing and all of these things. Going back to the point, this is the common ground which is between Islam and if you wanted to find the truth in Christianity, which is to worship none but God alone with no partners, and meaning to submit our will to the will of our Creator and to follow the guidance of the prophets of God, correct? So this is the common ground. And that makes you closer to Islam than Christian. And that's a good thing. I'm not going to learn a new religion because... No, it's the life, listen, the life, the life is a journey of learning. And there is always cu our curiosity to know things. It's good for us to know. At least we, at least you appreciate why those Muslims, why we have 1.8 billion people on earth who identify themselves to be Muslim. And they are increasing, especially in European countries like Germany and UK. And people, they come to Islam, they convert to Islam. Why they come to Islam? What is the thing that convinced them to become Muslims? And that's the key thing. You see, that's what made us to think and to consider, yeah, maybe they have something to say, and this something what they say, maybe it's the truth about the divine and about the purpose of our life and about why we are here. Yeah, correct? So, so let's, I will give you something about Islam, just to tell you what Islam is about. So at least you will have a clue, maybe, if you've never heard about it. Islam and how to live in Islam. I know that there are many, many parts of Islam. And what, uh, what's the main thing in your religion that you... Good. 
the first thing, the main thing in Islam is submit our will to the will of God. That's the main thing in Islam. To anyone who submit his will or her will to the will of God, then they are Muslims. So that's why Jesus was a Muslim because he said, let it be not my will, but your will. So he submit his will to the will of God. Moses, the same thing. Abraham, all prophets of God, they submit their will to the will of God. That's why they are Muslims. So anyone who submit his will to the will of God is a Muslim. So that's the main thing. The other thing, which is the second thing in Islam, as well we believe that Allah, as well, Allah by the way in Arabic means the one God, as well Allah has angels, has created angels. Those they have no, uh, they have, uh, uh, you know, they have, uh, uh, they, they have no decision that they take, they, take, they take from themselves, but actually that meaning that they, they just follow, no, no free will. they have no free will, yeah. so those angels. So, and God has sent those angels to convey the message that one of them, like Gabriel, sent him to the prophets of God to convey his message to the people. So that's another thing. Now, as well, we believe that God has sent revelations to the people, because if God created us, why he created us? What's the purpose of our life? What we are doing here on this earth? Is it just all eating and drinking and reproduction? Animals do better job than this. Uh, we, have, we have a purpose. We are here to serve this. This what God wants from us is to submit our will to him. And lastly, we, we to follow the guidance of the messengers of God. We believe that God has sent messengers one after another. All of them came to convey the message of God to the people. So some people, they believed in them and some people went astray until the final and the last prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is the last prophet of God and he came with the message and he came with the miracle that he has, which is the Quran. And if you allow me, I will talk to you, I will talk to you about the miracles of the Quran, if you, want me, if you want to hear about it. Now, Quran reached or came conveyed to Muhammad or uh, was revealed to Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago. And, and the language of the Quran, even amongst people, many, many German people, by the way, they studied Arabic language and they studied the Quran and they found the Quran, the language of the Quran so amazing, made some of them accept Islam. But now, what's your name, by the way? Your name? What's your, huh? Sigrid. And your name? Johanna. Johanna. So Sigrid and Johanna. So how Sigrid and Johanna will appreciate the Quran, will understand the Quran, but they can't speak Arabic. But the Quran has miracles. And those miracles which is made people to accept Islam, which they are called scientific miracles of the Quran. Meaning, we're not talking about, and those are scientific facts. Facts mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him have no access to the science and has no access to the knowledge until we discovered it recently. So when we, when we look into it and when we say, how did Muhammad 1400 peace be upon him, how did he found out about this and he claims those information didn't come from me it came from the creator of the, of the heavens and earth and for example i'll give you some example if you wanted to hear yeah you do you want do you want to say something okay yeah, yeah i say it's speaker's corner sorry i i'm very passionate about it. Um, yeah and i think you should uh, tell to others as well yes uh, only one question uh, do you think that men and women are totally equal in front of god yeah, that's true. They are totally equal in the front of God. That's you true. You respect your wife as she respects you and she's got the same rights. Yes, they, but they have different tasks. Different roles. Yeah. Different roles yeah. in the life. Yeah. So that's why the Prophet ﷺ, he said in very clear hadith, he said, Inna man nisa wa Where the women, they are like the, the men in terms of certain things. So they have certain roles to play and men have certain roles to play. So, and that's why we, unfortunately, recently we can't because we we confuse things, we mix things. That's why no one knows what is the role of the man, no one knows what's the role of the woman. And that's why that we, we live in a confused society. Where in fact, the role of, for example, of the, of the husband is to take care of his wife and to look after her financially and to make sure that she's safe, she's protected and all of these things, that's the role of the husband. And as well, the role of the wife as well, to take care of her husband as well, to look after him and, and as well. Oh, and both of them, they have to participate in, t in bringing up the children. Those are, this is what Islam is teaching us. And actually, Islam as well favored the mother more than the father. As our Prophet ﷺ, he said, that who, when a companion came and asked him, he said, who is the best person I should be close to? He said, your mother. 
He said, then who? He said, then your mother. He said, then who? He said, then your mother. He said, then who? He said, then your father. So the, the right of the mother in Islam, three times over than the right of the father in Islam. So this is the beauty of Islam. <laughs> Okay, do you want to have a free copy of the Quran? By the way, can you get us, brothers, just some two copies of the Quran from there? Just have it, have a read about it. You got one? Okay, you read something of the Quran. So, okay, in German? Okay, what did you learn from it? I learned that God has 100,000 names or something. No, 99 names, here. Thank you. All right, all right. Anyway, all right, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It was good, you know, even though. Yeah, she was patient. The people they feel overwhelmed when they are at, you know, with the camera, surrounding the camera.